what should the role of the black church be today and how has it changed? Why don't you start? Well, it says in my Bible, our Bible, we are the church. It's not a building. And we got in trouble the minute we started putting too much into a building so is, is that has no soul. You know? Well, you know the original church, uh, when church first started, was a group of people who came together just to fellowship, to talk about what life is with Christ and how all of this come about. And now we've made these into organized institutions. So yeah, there's a major change now in what's happening in the community of the church. And instead of seeing the church getting smaller, yes, they're getting bigger. They're changing uh, the different ways that we worship and praise. The music that we used to do a long time ago. I'm in the music business, of course. The worship and praise, we never heard of it. We were just straight up Jesus. He had no other name. So you see, the, you see the changes that are happening in how we praise. The Baptists didn't shout. The Baptists didn't do the holy dance. Now they speak in tongue. Different. The church was always relevant in the life of the African-American family because it was... The, the songs and the, the messages and how people learn to read, even from back in slavery, the Bible had always been embedded in the black life. When you say what, happens to the, what has happened to the black church, that is, you have lost the relationship between member and pastor, member and deacon, and so when you're trying to now drive social change, now you don't even have a conversation to even know where the people are hurting to know what they need. As we were running around the country, talking, doing sort of pre-interviews, just meeting pastors across the country. Um, people drove cars like investment bankers I know on Wall Street. <laughs> that, is just, that is just a, the, the overwhelming number. Is that a contradiction? I mean, you did, what would Jesus do? It is not a contradiction, but it also speaks to motive. It speaks to purpose. Uh, there's a chapter in my book called Walk in Your Full Prosperity. When the Bible talks about being spiritually prosperous, that does not mean forget everybody. It's about having the biggest bank account. There are people in, who, in your family, big mama, granddaddy, and others, who knew the Bible backwards and forth, who were spiritually prosperous, but they were not driving a Rolls Royce. Their spirit was prosperous. When a friend was sick, they were the first ones to show up at the hospital. When a young lady got pregnant at 15, they were the first one there to pray with them. But the gospel so they, of prosperity is not that. But no, no, that's my whole point. And so, so when people sit here and say, God wants you to be prosperous, God wants your spirit to be prosperous. Yeah, God wants you to have the God right attitude. Your, right. The people want money, money. Right. And the people money. sitting out there, they, they think now God is a slot machine. Yeah, uh, well. There's a reason why Jesus threw over the table in the temple because you're not supposed to rob and rape the people of God from their resources. The resource is supposed to be used for the purpose of blessing others and giving into the church so that he can do what's considered to be debt free. It's very important that as people of God, we recognize that our tithe, whether the pastor does what, it, what he's supposed to or not, is being given because we have the right motive, we have the right intention. And when you're in a church, that teaches and believes the principles of God, God sends blessings to whom he can send blessings through. And so we're just vehicles, tools, and resources. And debt-free, as Pastor Soares is talking about, is one of those ways in which he's able to use the resources of the church in order to help people get out of debt so that they can in turn give money back to the church in order to help other people get out of debt. And, so there, 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 there are churches, as you know, that are in very impoverished, yes. impoverished neighborhoods. Yes. And, and, where and, and, and have the MasterCard, the Visa, all of that you must it, pay. As a church goer, <laughs> how do you reconcile that? Easy. You tell that church to go to hell. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't... <laughs> That's you can't that. do that. Yes, Rona. you can. Oh, that wouldn't be pa ba pa hey, hey. Ba Bobby Jones, I'll cuss a pastor out. <laughs> I'll cuss a pastor out. Then that's where you go, and you go. No, go I guarantee you. Ask for my W two. Oh, oh I, I, the okay. W stand for whoop but, somebody's yet. Yeah. Ask for my W two. <laughs> see, he's and, and 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 again though. But see, that's why I go back to the church of the people. If you got some fools going to a church. Hand in a W-2, they just stupid. But just, now they're following what they're supposed no, to no, do. No, 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 that's, is a leader. no, that's stupid. No, 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 that pastor is not a leader. That's somebody who is pimping God.